So now we're going to look at a test to see if a particular string contains a substring. And we can use the include method again for this. So we've already encountered this when we looked at to see if something is in an array or see if a key is and value are in an object. But we can also give it strings. So let's say you have this main string here. So this is a quote, one of my favorite quotes actually. And uh, it's and you have this big string here, and then you have a substring that you want to search for. So on the assert, you can call the include method. And uh, the first thing you always give it is what you're looking in. So this is gonna be the main string here. Then the second argument is what you're looking for, which is a substring. And the final argument is an error message if this fails. So we can say that sub uh, substring was not in main string. By the way, these error messages are always optional, so you don't have to actually give them. So if I run this now, we can see that it fails because it says that it um, expected it's um, hang on, it says substring was not in the main string. So that failed because this run right here is not in the string. But if I change this into something like uh, wait, which is in this, and I run this, we can see that it passes. If I change this to fast, um, this will also work. And I, it doesn't have to be one word, so I can say something, I can put a literal part in here, so I can put I can think here, uh, if I spell it correctly. And if I run this again, we can see it passes. Now the opposite method to this is the uh, is not include method, and that also works with strings. So we can say not include here. And once again, we give the main string and the substring, and this time uh, we can say something like substring was in main string if it fails. So if I run this now, we can see it actually fails because it said this string, it expected this string here to not include this. Um, and this will fail for anything that's currently in the string. Um, so if I change this to something like um, hello, let's say, or with the semicolon, let's just go with that. Um, we can see that it passes because this substring right here isn't in this main string. So let's look at the challenge now. So we're on to challenge 14 and um, we have to give it the include method or not include method to these inputs to make them pass. So in the first one we have a main string of arrow and a substring of row. And we can already see that this arrow, even when I highlighted this arrow contains a substring row here. So if we give this to the include method, because this the main string, the first argument includes a substring, we know that this will pass. The second one we have dart here as the main string and we have q as the second string. Um, and we can clearly see that dart, uh, the q isn't in this uh, main string dart here. So if we were to give this to include, this would fail, so we need to give it to not include. Um, so if I save that, um, I can just go ahead and submit that. Uh, I hope I haven't just undone that, no. So if you do that now, we can see that all the tests pass and we're good to go.